Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video. If you ever wanted to go back in time to retrieve an old version of a document or maybe you did a retouch on some pictures and you want to have the old version back or maybe you've removed one of the files that you had retouched now you want it back again. Well, there's a cool thing that you can use in Windows 10 to do that, and it's called File History. File History is a nice feature of Windows 10. It lets you go back in time, retrieve old versions of files. The first thing that you'll need for it to work is a USB thumb drive with enough space or a hard drive plugged in to your computer, and it needs to stay plugged in when you want to use that feature because it's an automatic process where it backs up old files. Once you have plugged it in, go to the bottom left in Cortana, type File History, and you will have the File History settings. By the way, that's an update in security and settings if you want to see it. Now, mine is already set up. Yours will show had a drive, so you have to make sure your drive is plugged in. Once it is, you simply click add the plus button to add the drive choose your drive and then you'll be here with the slider on more options are available these options are of what type of backup that you'll want to do so here says size of my backup of all the folders that I wanted 5 gigabytes uh, total space on backup right now and it says your data is not yet backed up because I haven't started using the feature, but I plan on doing it now. You have the backup, my files, you have the time that it will do. So every hour is the default, but look at this. You have from 10 minutes to daily. So depending on how often you work on these files, you choose the amount of time between each saves. The other option you'll see is keep my backups there's forever is default, meaning that as long as you know there's space on that drive, you will keep every version of every file each day or each hour or depending on the, what you choose. But you can also say, well, I only want to go back one month or three months or six months or until space is needed. So you choose whatever option you want. In the bottom, you have backup these folders. By default, it shows you the folders that you have back to back up. But you can add folders, or if you don't want some folders, you can click on it and you have a remove button and say, no, I don't want that one. So you choose the folders you want to back up, basically. And that's how it's going to work. Once you've chosen the folders, once you've chosen the time delay, all you have to do is keep everything plugged in on the hard drive or the thumb drive. And it's going to back up automatically. Now, Say in a week or two weeks you want to go back and get files. How does it work? It's simple. You go back to this option. You go back into the extra options that we are here. And you simply click Restore Files from a Current Backup. And that opens a window that will give you the possibility of backing up my files. Now, it doesn't work right now because I don't have a backup. And that's the first thing I would need to do. But here, you'll have a list of all the backups and you'll be able to go back in time and say well I want the backup from uh, you know two weeks ago you'll choose a date or a time and you'll see the files that are backed up from that period so that's how the backup is gonna work and you can go back in time and get that backup as needed so this is a cool feature I am actually going to try it for the next few weeks and leave my thumb drive permanently plug in so that we can try it out and uh, it's a pr pretty pretty cool version for people that use the Mac computer um, there's an equivalent on the Mac for backing up and that backup on Macs is also dependent on file versions and you can go back in time so it's the same kind of backup here that you can make of files so it's pretty cool you go back in time you need a file three weeks back you just go and get it and uh, it's also cool if you ever erase the file that you want to have back, well, you'll go back in time and retrieve it from a date that you know it was on your computer. So cool feature, file history in Windows 10. 
If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you like our videos, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you like our videos and continue to follow us on the channel.